Primero que todo, saludaré en español honrando a nuestra tierra americana para decir que las tradiciones que tenemos de nuestro sol, de nuestra tierra, de nuestra agua es lo que nos hace ser de América. I said that first I give a salute in Spanish in order to give honor to our tradition, the sun, the water and the land that make us Americans. So this way, in order to introduce the target of the panel and the people that are working with us and would be incredible speakers to this, have to first point out the similarities we have with Japan in many things from the perspective of Chile. We both share tsunamis. If not, it happened, for instance, if an earthquake happened in my country, I would have a tsunami in Japan too. And if Japan has this similar phenomenon, it's going to have to us. Very little, we have a legend that said that two gods that were serpents were fighting over the destiny of humanity. One is Kaikai, the other is Tenten. The earthquake god is the protector of humankind. He start trembling the land, fighting against the water god. This way, the earthquake said us that beware, a tsunami is coming. So now we have here, not only tsunamis, earthquake and things, people with disabilities, we are disproportionately affected. All of the data we have point this way. That's why we want to introduce Miss Emily Perdico. I'm not sure if I'm saying correctly the, the family name, so sorry if I'm mistaken. She's the executive director of the Coalition of Services of the Elderly. So please, the mic is yours. You have your time, then we are going to have another incredible speaker. Thank you for the introduction. Um, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for inviting the Ministry of Jose to speak about our advocacy for disaster reduction and management. I am representing Health International and Coalition of